Hello and welcome to the third video in the Cloth Diaper Basics series. My name is Marnie from RebornClothing.com and today's video is all about newborn cloth diapering. So you might be wondering why would you cloth diaper a newborn? Why not just wait until your baby's a little bit larger and you can put them in one size fits all diapers? Consider the following. Number one, chemicals on your baby's skin. For more information about the chemicals used in, in disposable diapers versus cloth diapers and the effects of those chemicals on babies as well as the environment, follow this link. And number three, consider the expense. If you could cloth diaper your baby from day one, you'd be able to save money, especially if you are going to be using those cloth diapers for other kids that you plan on having. If you're having at least two kids, the cost of disposable diapers will be way more than if you cloth diaper. If you are using about 12 to 15 diapers a day, which is actually on the small side, on a newborn who poops very frequently, then you're going to be spending at least $200 on disposable diapers, if not more if you're using more expensive eco-friendly brands. If you take that $200, it might not be enough to get an entire stash of newborn cloth diapers, but if you were to consider the cost of two babies at $400, that would absolutely be enough to get yourself going with a very decent stash of cloth diapers. And if you end up not having any more kids, you can still sell those diapers and retain some of your costs. Your three choices for newborn cloth diapering are number one, to buy your own stash of diapers or to register for some before your baby arrives. Number two, to rent them from a diaper rental service. Or number three, to use a diaper service that you borrow diapers from and you either provide covers or you rent covers from as well and they do your laundry for you. There are benefits to each one of these. And I would recommend that you look at the different costs of those services, what services are available in your area, and how flexible they are, and how long, you t what time you have to commit to them, and how much money you have to commit to them up front. You might be wondering why you can't use one-size-fits-all diapers on your baby from day one. The reason that I recommend not using one-size-fits-all diapers is because newborn babies have a different shape than babies that are chunkier and have already put on weight. My babies were all on the smaller side and their bellies and their legs were very different in size and grew at different rates. And that made it really hard for me to find a one-size-fits-all diaper that would fit them from day one. I found that when they were first born their legs were really skinny and their bellies were often larger and then as they grew and put on pounds the opposite would happen. Their legs would get chunky and their waist would get smaller and vice versa as they grew until they were about three or four months old, which is when most babies can fit into a one-size-fits-all diaper. So you might be wondering, how many cloth diapers do I need? I would say for the newborn stage, an absolute minimum of diapers is 18. That's because you're going to be changing them so frequently, they poop so frequently that you have to change the diaper so frequently. 18 will get you through about a day and a half of diapering, depending on your baby and how much he or she is eating and pooping. And that's going to be a lot of stress on you if you don't have enough diapers. So I would say the upper end being around 36 diapers. That's going to get you through two days with, with cloth diapering very frequently and still having diapers on hand while you're doing the wash. So what is your wash routine going to be? At home you need to have a diaper pail and a diaper pail liner that's washable. And that's where you're going to store your soiled diapers and your soiled cloth wipes if you're using cloth wipes. And your diaper covers as long as they're not wool. Wool needs to be washed separately. I'll get into that later. When you're out and about with your baby at doctor's appointments or play groups or mom's groups or wherever you're out, you need to bring a wet bag with you or some sort of waterproof carrying bag to hold your dirty diapers. I sell wet bags that look like this. They have a zipper top, 
and they have a little handle, a little um, strap that can go onto a diaper bag or onto your purse or onto your stroller or onto your baby carrier so you can always have this at hand. And you need to bring extra diapers depending on how long you're going to be out and how frequently your baby usually needs to be changed. So when you're out and about, you just take your dirty diaper and you put it in your bag and you seal it up and you bring it home at night and put it in your diaper pail with your other dirty diapers until it's wash day. Your cloth diapers will need to be washed about every two to three days. It'll depend on the diaper and the manufacturer and they should tell you what the care instructions are for those particular diapers. You don't want to let them go any longer than that because the bacteria will build up and they'll get really sticky, but also the bacteria can start to break down the diaper fabrics. Newborn diapers come in all shapes and sizes and they have different styles. There are fitted diapers, which are not waterproof, they require a cover. There are flat diapers, which are just big rectangles of material, they also require a cover. There are contour diapers, which are also not waterproof and require a cover. And there are pre-fold diapers that also require a cover. Those all can be used with plastic covers or with wool covers. And then there are diapers called all-in-ones, which have everything you need all in one piece that have a waterproof outer layer. And then there are all-in-two diapers, which are also all have a diaper cover built in. There are hybrid diapers that have a waterproof layer hidden. There are also diaper systems like the G diapers that have a flushable insert, but a waterproof cover. One way to make it easier for you when you first have a newborn at home and you're trying to cloth diaper from day one is to write your wash routine and your care routine out or even print it up and laminate it for your people that are helping you out during the first couple weeks with your baby. That might be your partner or your mother or your mother-in-law or maybe a postpartum doula that's going to be coming over to help you with laundry. If you really want to have success with it, you need to have help and if you want to have help, you need to make it very clear how those people can help you.